Well, no thunderstorm watch is going to stop these teams from playing some football tonight. Live from South Riding, Virginia, it's DMVStream.com's Game of the Week between the Dominion Titans of Loudoun, Virginia, and the Freedom South Riding Eagles. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike Fortier, along with Brian Gardner, live in the press box here. Brian, uh, tell us, uh, give us a preview of uh, tonight's team. Both teams 0-2, but those records could be misleading. Yeah, well, Mike, both of these teams, as you mentioned, 0-2 starts. A little bit rough to start the season, but here in South Riding, both looking for their first win of the year. And it could be a little bit misleading as they're – opponents records a combined seven and one freedoms opponents three and one so far dominions undefeated they're four and oh so they played some good football teams so we could be in store for a pretty good one here tonight and tell us some of the uh, key players to keep an eye on tonight. Well, we're looking at Chad Smith first for the Dominion Titans. This kid, a junior, he's a running back, he's a linebacker, he's a wide receiver. He does it all, plays on both sides of the ball. He's the leading rusher for the Dominion Titans. You're going to have to look to see him get established early if Dominion's going to be successful in this one. He's the one to keep an eye on. And for the home team? Well, you got, it all starts with the quarterback. This team has a spread offense that they have put in for this season with their brand new head coach, and it's all about the quarterback, Trent Gilmore. Senior, he missed all of the 2012 season with a rotator cuff injury. Actually happened in a preseason scrimmage, so that's rough. But he threw for 191 yards, 19 for 26, and their opener, he can sling it, he can put the ball to his wide receivers, and he runs this spread offense for the Freedom Eagles. And give us some keys to the game tonight. Well... First things first, it's all about stopping the run or establishing the run. You look at the Dominion Titans, and they've had success running the football. Their first game of the season, a loss to Potomac Falls back on August 30th. That was a four-point loss. They were in it the entire time, and Smith got going. He ran for 114 yards, but they struggle a little bit with the pass. They've struggled to stop the run, and they need to stop the run from the other side, and if they don't establish, that could be a problem because when they got shut out by broad run, Smith just 38 yards on nine carries. And tell us about the coaches. You mentioned uh, one of them installing a new scheme for uh, this uh, year's team. Well, before we do that, we should talk a little bit about Freedom South riding, and of course, they need to run that run that spread offense and work hard on stopping the run. They've had a game back on their their loss, their shutout loss to start the season where they gave up over 10 yards a carry, so that is big for them to stop it. We'll go to the National Anthem now. National anthem there from the Freedom Eagles marching band. Mike Fortier back with Brian Gardner. Brian, we're talking about the uh, coaches now. How about the uh, keys to the, tonight's game? Well, for, for the... I'm sorry, we're talking about the keys to the game. Now I want you yeah, to talk about the coaches. Carl Bolt, Buckwalter, head coach for these Dominion Titans. He's coached, he's been around, Coach McLean. He's coached Colonial Forge. This is a team, they're coming off of a 3-7 and seven season, their last season. And Dominion actually never been over 4-6 and six in their existence but the Washington Post all Mets sports actually singled these guys out as a contender in their district so Buck Walter gonna have to steer the charge a little bit we're a couple of minutes away from a kickoff right now here in uh, South Riding getting ready for the game like you mentioned both teams looking for their first win of the year uh, the game delayed a bit at the start due to some uh, lightning thunder and lightning in the area but we are going to get it in and uh, hopefully we won't have any more weather interruptions during the game Captains now going to midfield for the uh, opening coin toss. 
We're getting a look at Jared Van Acker, first-year head coach here for Freedom. He's a guy he's had success at the lower levels, actually coming off of three consecutive D4 playoff appearances with Grafton High. And so he's the one who's installed this spread offense and be interested to see how those Eagles get going here at home. He's had success in the past, but it's going to be frustrating for him not having a win so far. You see what happened in the team's last meeting. It's been a while, back in 2010, and of course, new system here at Freedom High School. They got absolutely blown out way back. So you got to wonder if maybe there's some lingering feelings just overall that trickle back down. Of course, a new set, a new team, really, for both sides, but you know they'd want to get some revenge. Yeah, the upperclassmen remember that game. The seniors and the juniors would have been on that team that lost 49-3. Uh, to three. Referees giving the uh, players some instructions at midfield. I think they've uh, done a few coin tosses before, but I guess uh, you never want to take too many chances. Just about over a minute away from uh, kickoff. <laughs> want to purchase a copy of this broadcast, get it on DVD or download it directly to your computer. Find out more at dmvstream.com, dmvstream.com. Mike Fortier here with Brian Gardner as uh, the referee looks like he's uh, giving team the uh, captain some instructions, and he finally flips the coin. And we'll see what the, uh, looks like uh, Dominion won the toss. No, sorry, looks like Freedom won the toss. Well, Mikey talked about the weather delay, and it's actually turned into a really nice, clear night. We had those thunderstorms roll through and uh, push us back about a half hour to the start here, but looks like we're ready for some football here in South Riding. Not too humid tonight, too. Hopefully that'll, that'll uh, last the rest of the night. All right, so we got the coin toss uh, out of the way. We'll uh, line up and uh, kick off here in just about a minute or so. The Freedom Eagles playing host to the Dominion Titans. Both teams looking for their first win. Freedom out of the Potomac District. Dominion out of the Dulles District. Now we're just about set as they uh, get set to put the ball in the tee. Got a pretty good atmosphere here at Freedom in South Riding, Virginia. Got a nice student sections come out and made their support. And just the high school football, the buzz in the air. You hear the marching band getting ready to go. And this is going to be a lot of fun here, Mike. Yeah, good to see the crowd out here on a Thursday night as opposed to the regular Friday night. And it looks like the Thunder didn't keep uh, too many people away either. All right, so we're lining up for the opening kickoff. Receivers for Dominion back to receive at their own 10. Fielded inside the 10 around the 8. Up the right sideline. And it looks like the tackle made across the 20. Around the 24-yard line is where things will start, first and 10. We'll get our first look at this offense for Dominion. And again, tell us uh, who we want to watch on uh, offense. You're going to be uh, keeping an eye on number 44, the running back. That's Chad Smith. Chad Smith, leading rusher on this team. He also is a linebacker at the other side. And look at the at, on the offensive line. You got a big boy to keep an eye out for. Number 63, Evan Ferguson, MVP of West Virginia's football camp. And speaking of uh, Chad Smith, he gets the call around the right end, and goes all the way to the 41. So about a 17-yard pickup there by Smith. So Yeah, the junior's got some nice speed, goes around the right side there, and they ran right at that big boy, 63. Once again, Evan Ferguson, he's the biggest guy on the field, 6'6", almost 300 pounds. He's a man among boys out there. And Smith is no slouch at 6'3 himself. He's got that linebacker size, and he's got the tailback speed. So first and 10 from their own 41 for Dominion. This time an end around. Got a little fly sweep action. Another big gain for Dominion. Crossing midfield and getting into Freedom Territory at the 40. So two successful runs to start off the game for Dominion. 
And that was Luke Thompson on the sweep. And again, he just found the hole. And this is what this offense wants to do. They want to establish the run. They want to get going, not have to pass themselves into the game because it's a power running team with some speed backs and a big offensive line. So to get ahead on this first drive would be huge for Dominion. That run for about 19 yards. First and 10 once again. So two plays, two first downs for Dominion. As Smith goes in motion in the backfield. And he gets the handoff up the middle. Another big gain for Smith, still on his feet, stumbling inside the 20 to the 10, the 5, and that's where he's brought down. Look at They're the gonna, Go ahead, Brian. Look at the balance, the breakaway speed from Chad Smith. Almost tripped up. He got about 9, 10 extra yards there when he was stumbling a yeah. little bit all the way down inside the 10. That's a nice, impressive run. That is a good job of uh, keeping his balance there. So it's going to be first and goal for uh, Dominion after just uh, three plays. And it looks like we have a timeout called by Freedom. So the Freedom defense reeling a bit here. Three plays, and already we've marched about, uh, let's see, down from the 24 is where this drive started. And we're already at the, uh, the Freedom five-yard line. And we talked about this in the opening of our broadcast. This is a Freedom team that's had the ball run down their throats before, and this is exactly what these Dominion Titans want to do. And coming out, running the ball hard and some poor tackling and just getting blocked, pushed around on the field, the defensive line. It's not working out so far for Freedom, as we mentioned, a key is stopping this run. Dark graphics, screen printing, and embroidery provide spirit packs for teams, class shirts, and group sales with original designs. Serving Northern Virginia, Maryland, D.C. for 15 years, Dark Graphics specializes in school and business apparel. Design your own custom shirts and apparel at www.darkgraphics.com. And the teams take the field first and goal from the five-yard line. Dominion ball. Referees whistle the uh, game back into action. And the handoff. Actually, this is uh, Gasser keeping it off the right side. Looks like he's in the end zone. Touchdown. So how about that? Dominion scores on just four plays and a drive that started from their own 24-yard line. Impressive run on the quarterback keeper for Donnie Gasser. He fooled you up here in the, in the press box. He fooled the defense down on the field, took it to the right side, and just plowing through. And that's another big boy, 6'3", 200 pounds, and he used all of that to get into the end zone for six. Daniel Rodas lining up for the extra point. Good snap, good hold. Kick is up and through the uprights. So just like that with 10.27 to go in the first quarter, it's Dominion leading Freedom South riding 7-0. So what you think of that uh, drive, Brian? Four plays, 76 yards, and they score a touchdown. Well, Mike, what they did is they ran the football. No passing attempts on those four plays. Four runs, just running it down the throat of this Freedom defense. And Gaster, that was impressive. That's his second touchdown run of the year. The opener, he had a 21-yard touchdown run. And you can see this isn't a guy who's really going to go out and light him up with the arm, but he can absolutely run the football from the quarterback position. And Dominion, no misconceptions. They're a power-running team. This is what we talked about. And showing up there on the first drive, so... It's big here for Freedom to try and answer this with that spread offense. We'll get our first look at it. You think Freedom maybe had some trouble with the scheme or more of a, a tackling issue, fundamentals, well, maybe a little bit of both? I think it's a mix of everything. That was nice execution by the Titans, and Freedom just overall, they looked outmatched. They looked slow. They looked like they were being handled by the offensive line. We mentioned Evan Ferguson and company, and Chad Smith outrunning everybody. Mm -hmm. And we're lining up now for the ensuing kickoff. This will be Rodas kicking it off. And it's going to be picked up at the 15-yard uh, line down the sideline. Looks like they might be trying to... Uh, oh. It looked like they're lining up to maybe do a uh, reverse. I noticed for uh, Freedom, Miles Conley was running towards the returner. It looked like he maybe was trying to position himself to get a, a handoff on a reverse. If that was the plan, it did not work out. Well, it was Weissmiller on the return, and that's great coverage there by Dominion getting down and getting on top of them. And uh, this is going to be tough starting inside your own 10-yard line, a long drive ahead of you, already down by seven. Trent Gilmore will uh, line up at quarterback for uh, Freedom. That's one of the players Brian told us to keep an eye on tonight. He's under center. And the handoff goes up the middle. Picked up a good chunk of yardage there, maybe around the 14-yard uh, line. So four-yard gain. 
Didn't seem like it fooled that Dominion defense on top of it, swarming and look, there's that man again, Chad Smith, middle linebacker number 44, the same man who is their leading rusher. He was in on that tackle. And that'll bring up second down and six for uh, Freedom. Ball marked at their own 14-yard uh, line after the uh, four-yard pickup. Gilmore again under center. Uh-oh, looks like some early movements on the Freedom line, the left tackle perhaps jumping off sides. See what the official call is. Should be a false start. Yep, it is. False start. So that'll push him back five yards back to the uh, nine-yard line. So second and 11 coming up for Freedom. Well, we're seeing two teams start off their first drives in uh, opposites, opposite uh, directions. Well, yeah, absolutely is. Dominion just on their first play picking up first downs. They had a decent return actually getting them in somewhat of manageable field position. It's just been the other way so far for Freedom. And the pitch out now left side. There's some room to run. 